Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here we are at the Autodesk Gallery in San Francisco. And I'm Wes Adams. I'm with Autodesk on the Games Industry Marketing Team. So today we're taking a look at Autodesk FBX Review. This is a free standalone app that we've created to be very lightweight to let people review 3D models and animations. Uh, so for example, this first file we're looking at, this is just an untextured guy. We've got him in here from some mocap data that we did. And you can see at the bottom, we just swipe up, press the play button, and we're now looking at the mocap animation data. The interesting thing here is, right now we're looking at a perspective camera, but if we wanted to, we could swap that over to the scene camera that's also animated. So you see that gives you the look much more like you would see in a, in a film, let's say. Um, up here on the right, we've got the ability to change animation takes, so you can just cycle through them really quickly. Press play, so now we're looking at him about to take a slug at somebody. So here we're looking at uh, the third animation, which is the, the run cycle. So we press play. Again, yeah, you can see how he's running through environment. Uh, he's got a single scene spotlight. And we can pause it. We can step back frame by frame. And then you can, you know, you can really get in there and see what's happening. Make sure that uh, frame to frame the animation is OK and it's not doing anything weird, like it's not interpolating the model and pretzeling it around at all. You can see what it looks like from various angles. So again, this is. Um, just a simple example from some mocap data, but you know you can really scale this up quite a bit. So we're going to look at a file now, who is Sven, our hero from Hyperspace Madness, which was a concept game that we released at GDC 2012. And we built this game using a distributed team, all the gameware, middleware products, and obviously our entertainment creation suites. And this is just showing uh, Sven taking the big hit animation where he would be, you know, a uh, attacked by an enemy and you know this is a pretty good example you actually will zoom out a little bit and you'll see that he's in a partial environment so so again depending on what you've saved to your file uh, you can open some pretty big files always depending on the power of the device on which you're watching it um, same thing here so we've got some animations in this file Sven is jumping over these boxes and so we can also do zoom throughs uh, step throughs rather and see what it's looking like He's got that stumble animation at the end, so if we thought, what's what's going on over here? Like what like what is Sven really doing? Do we need him to do this weird leg thing? What's he doing with his hands? We could have him change if we didn't like the way any of this looked at any time. For example, maybe maybe we think, actually, yeah, it looks like I don't know, his arm's a little close to his body. Maybe that's not really natural. Maybe you don't like that. So you swipe him from the side, pull up the charm bar, press share, go to mail, and then what it's going to do is pull in a screenshot. And so it's also going to add some data in here. So if you see the file name, it says a screenshot was taken from, and it even gives you the exact frame, the timing, so the artist knows exactly which key I'm looking at. And then yeah, it's a screenshot of exactly what I'm looking at. So I can just, you know, uh, get in there and start typing and just say, hey, you know, this is what I don't like about the scene. Do you think you could just change his arm on the land so that it's easier? Hit send, send it off. Really, really simple. And then you're back to reviewing again. Let's look at uh, the minion from Hyperspace Madness. So you can see everything's opening pretty quick. So if you need to review like a lot of files, it's, it's fast, it's very nice. So this is the settings option. So if people don't like some of the buttons at the top. You can actually change some of these options here in the menu also. You could enable your wireframe overlay. So that's this button at the top. You can select your shading mode, same as you can with the top menu here. So this can let you change to smooth shading or to faceted. It's the same thing that you're gonna be able to do here. Same idea. Here you could do scene statistics, see your frames per second, how many polys are in the scene. You could remove the grid if you thought that was getting in your way, if you didn't like that, or if you wanted a size reference. Um, here you have dynamic tessellation, so you can actually change um, the magnitude of the tessellation on the asset, so that's kind of cool if you want to see it do it more or less, depending on the hardware power that you have or what kind of settings you think you're going to have in your game. Uh, you can even do things with the animation, so depending on how the animation has been keyed, you can have it force the animation to snap to each keyframe or not. And at the bottom we have um, different things like enabling or disabling 
geometry deformations, if you have the ability to change to match the vertical sync of your monitor. Some people that are really into the details like tweaking that, so we added it in. And then depending on the size of your device and how much you care about the UI, you can change the, uh, the scale. So if you work on a really big surface, for example, you could actually just scale this up depending on your personal preference. So that's actually really easy, and that's because we did the UI for this with uh, Autodesk Scale Form, which is a tool used in game design to create user interfaces and menu systems for games. So the same way we made UI like a mini map or um, a health bar for games or a menu system, it's been used to create all of the UI here. So Flash created content that's then imported into your project, and that's why the scaling of the uh, UI is very simple and nice. We've imported files from other non-media entertainment software. So here we're looking at uh, something that's more from our you know, architecture or design. This is really, really simple, but if you were a designer that was making, in this case, a bathroom, you could also import your Revit file in here. And we also support uh, the DXF format from AutoCAD, so there's really some nice flexibility in what this app can be used for. So while we made it, Initially, for media and entertainment customers, lots of games, maybe some film and TV stuff, uh, it actually has a really broader applicability. And we've actually had downloads from customers in uh, military simulation, electronics, aerospace, consumer electronics. So it's actually got some really nice adoption across industry. So we hope that it takes off. FBX reviews on both Windows 7 and 8? Yeah, that's right. So if you're using um, Windows 7, you can get it through the Autodesk Exchange Store. And if you're on a Windows 8 device and you have access to the Windows Store, you can go right on there and it'll be integrated right onto your tile UI from the Metro interface.